We're back with Coach Hovland at the end of day four of the Horizon League Championships. Coach, can you share some of your thoughts on today and maybe give us a little bit of something to look forward to for our final day tomorrow? Yeah, it, um, um, my thoughts are, are all over the place right now. This is probably uh, one of the most difficult uh, uh, championship meets I've ever coached in with, with everything that's, that's going on and, and all the different uh, things that we have to do to, to mitigate and, and manage <clears throat> uh, the COVID protocols. And um, we're, we're, we're up at six o'clock every morning and we're just wrapping up now. It's nine o'clock at night. Um, and we've been going all day long. We've got different group, groups come into the pool every hour on the hour uh, to try to make sure we're giving them adequate rest with all the time. You know, morning sessions that normally take an hour and a half to two hours are taking up to three, four, and five hours by the time we get there for warm up and by the time we get back to the hotel uh, tomorrow, for an example, our last day, some swimmers are gonna be coming back from the pool at two o'clock. We'll be checking out of the hotel at two o'clock and we'll be heading back to the pool for finals at two o'clock. So uh, th I, I, this has really been tough, but uh, uh, I'm fortunate for us and we, we've handled it fairly well. The kids are in great shape. Um, they're in a great place. They're feeling really, really good about themselves. The women have scored so many points. I think we're up 300 points going into the last day. So the ladies are going to come in <clears throat> and wake up in the morning and feel pretty good. And, and uh, you know, they'll be able to race in the mornings in the preliminary session without any, without any pressure whatsoever, uh, without any expectations and just get in and, and do what they do best and, and, and race. And, and the finals at night, will, it'll be the icing on the cake for them. And, and uh, they've, they've really had a heck of a meet. Um, uh, they, they've swum well every time they've needed to. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we have we've we've had some top performances across the board. So, really, really proud with uh, where we're at and pleased with where we're at with with them. Uh, the men from from day one o overcoming a, a huge uh, deficit. Uh, you know, after the first two days and making up that point differential. That the um, and and uh, all day it's just kind of we've been going back and forth with Cleveland State and and uh, I thought tonight we really uh, our guys really really stepped up. Um, winning both relays, um, uh, winning the individual events that we did and the times in which we did them was really surprising, and especially under these conditions. Um, there'd be no fault to, to the kids if, if we you know, weren't able to do the kinds of times we're swimming right now. I mean, um, but for them to do that, um, uh, really, again, a, a testament to them. And um, we're, we're really, really proud of uh, um, everything that uh, they've done to get here and, and uh, uh, they're not going to let this slip by and I think that their hard work today, I, I think we finished the night up to 75 and a half points over the second place team and, and uh, uh, that, that, that's a nice comfort zone to have going into the final day of competition. Um, we've been a, a little bit stronger in every event or every session um, and I expect that would ha will happen again tomorrow. Um, our sprinters Sprint freestylers have really been the difference in this meet, um, and we have the 100 free and, and the 400 free relay to, uh, to end the session with tomorrow. So uh, I think we're, we're, we're in a good place. Our, 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 our distance uh, swimmers are swimming real well. We'll start the morning with that, uh, or the evening with that. Uh, uh, we've got great backstrokers on both sides, men and women. Uh, our breaststrokers are probably uh, um, are doing as well as, as our sprint freestylers, and that's been a real go-to thing for us. So. Um, I, I think we're sitting real well and, and we're really excited about our, our opportunities tomorrow and, and uh, I, it's just unfortunate that uh, we couldn't have our fans and our families here uh, to, to uh, enjoy this and, and to experience this because uh, um, this, is, uh, this is one of those meets I think I'll remember for a very, very long time and, and how difficult this journey's been and, and how difficult these last couple of sessions have been. And, and how well and, and how they've handled it and the fact that uh, uh, they can, they, they're swimming uh, even, even better than, than what we did a few weeks back. So um, it should be exciting and uh, we're looking forward to it and we're looking forward to getting home and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll have a, a couple more trophies to, to um, add to, to the collection. And, and uh, um, uh, so, um, yeah, so without further ado, good night, uh, Golden Grizzly fans, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying it on the ESPN3, and you'll follow along tomorrow with us, and, 
and uh, hopefully uh, celebrate uh, uh, another banner at, uh, at the end of the session tomorrow night for both teams.